Now joining us live at the School of Podiatric Medicine is Kate Lavender. Hi, Kate. You got to speak with the professor. What did he have to say? Hello, Megan and Chase. I'm live at the Temple University School of Podiatric Medicine, where I spoke with Dr. Paula Marchuk. For the past 28 years, he has taken his top 10 podiatry students to the Boston Marathon for fun and training. But the highlight of the semester turned into horror when a bomb exploded near where the Temple crew was set up. Dr. Paula Marchuk told me that the most shocking part of the experience was seeing a festive environment of happy, healthy runners turn into misery. In my head, I thought this is 9-11. This is the first Boston Marathon bomb exploded about 100 yards away from the tent where Dr. Howard Palomarchuk and his Temple University sports medicine students were stationed. At first, Palomarchuk thought it was an industrial accident, but fear quickly set in. You heard one bomb, then the second, and you, you're almost bracing yourself for the third. Podiatry student Matt Reminter has worked at marathons in the past and was not expecting to treat more than blisters and ankle sprains. It was very surreal. Um, it was it was like a war zone. We keep talking about it. It was very much like a war zone. Walking back, just seeing all these different things, hearing all these different stories about more bombs being found, and then hearing that possibly a third bomb went off. Palomarchuk describes the front line. Those that are able to walk are are, are shredded. I mean, their clothes are shredded. There's blood pouring out of different, I don't know if that's a bad word, but there's blood coming out of different areas of their body. Dr. Paula Marchuk and Rementor say not a second was wasted. The volunteers and medics all came together to help. Back to you in the studio.